Hi guys, it's Monica. This is going to be a, well, I always say it's going to be a quick video, but they, they never usually are. So, but anyways, I'm going to try to keep this quick. I'm going to probably break this into two parts because if I do both parts, it'll be super, super long. But this is a highly requested video, and that is that I update my skincare routine. And I always feel kind of um, funny doing that because I really don't make in my opinion, a whole lot of changes on any kind of regular basis. Although I do believe in switching things up because I do believe that your skin can get used to the same thing and the same routine over and over again. So I take a break, I might add another product, I might remove a product, stuff like that. So anyways, for those of you that are new to my channel, I'm 65 years old. I will be 66 in February of 2020. I can't believe it can't believe it but yes I am and my skin is combination I have very dry skin in 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 or oily skin sort of in the t-zone drier around here and you know my cheeks and things of that nature so it's always been a combination and my skin tone is more neutral or more. I have a cooler I guess is the appropriate way to say it's skin tone anyways because my top's falling off anyways my morning routine is pretty well consistent. I usually get up in the morning and for, gosh, I want to say, oh, and I should also tell you, some of these products I'm going to talk to you, they were sent to me and some of these products I have bought with my own money. I will always mention any products that were sent to me and also sometimes I have affiliate links. Those will also be noted in the description box. For example, where I buy my Retin-A, I am a, an affiliate of Reliable RX Pharmacy in India. So, and that's new to me, but um, not the product, but being an affiliate. So I just want to make that disclosure known because my Retin-A, I buy it fairly cheaply. So anyways, that's my evening. I'm really not going to go into that too much at this point in time. But my morning routine, I normally will lightly wash my face depending on what's going on with my skin. If I feel that I need to exfoliate, I will do a light wash. I will do an exfoliation. And normally, and many of you have heard me talk about the fact that I've been using the Studio 35. This is that. You, you can get this in Walgreens. And I normally will put this on. This is a um, alpha hydroxy face cream. And I normally put this on and then I will wash it off. But I don't use this all the time anymore. What I have been doing on those days that I really feel I need to exfoliate more than normal, I've been using this particular product. And you know what? You guys can use whatever you really want that works for you if you even need it. But I've been using this. This is a coffee gamache scrub that I got. And this is wake up your complexion with this caffeine rich natural moisturizing coffee gamache. Naturally moisturizing face mask concentrating containing jojoba oil and squalene oil and some other in, other ingredients. Anyways, I received this as PR from Jen Amber. She sent me a number of products in PR and I've been using them for a while. This coffee scrub, gamage I should say, I've used quite a bit of it actually. I don't know if you can tell. I've used quite a bit of it. Anyways, I'll get up in the morning and I'll wash my face. I don't have to do like a huge super wash because I'm very consistent and very good about washing my face at night and doing my skincare at night. I actually like that whole process. So I'll get up, I'll wash my face, and if my skin looks like it needs this, I will do this as a scrub. I'll put this on, gamage my skin, massage it in, and wash it off. I really like this. feels really good. Now, this was sent to me via PR. I don't know if I'm going to rebuy it. I don't know yet at this point in time. I've probably been using this for about, I took it to Nashville for about three weeks. I like it. I use this. I've used this for, gosh, years. I like it. I don't do it every day. So these are the two products that right now, currently in the morning that I'm alternating with. I like them both. And then it just really all depends on the level of my skin. There are some mornings that I really don't even need that. But after I wash my face and my skin and I go through, I'll use a toner. And I most likely use this witch hazel. I've got a number of different toners, but this is the one that I kind of reach all the time. It's very affordable. This is the cucumber one. I happen to really like the cucumber one. I've 
tried a few others, but I really kind of like this a lot. So I reach for this, it's very affordable. I think I got this at Walgreens, I can't remember. But this is the one I use a lot. On the days that I have not done any of the alpha hydroxy or any of the other, any kind of other exfoliation, I sometimes will use the ordinary glycolic acid. Again, I'm not gonna use these at the same time, but I'm gonna be switching it around. So sometimes I use this as a toner. When I'm all done with that, so now I have naked skin, I usually go in the living room and I will use this particular product that I've talked about and many of you know, I, I love my Trophy Skin products. Yes, they're pricey. I use the Microdermabrasion. I use my Trophy Skin Spatula. And this one was sent to me complimentary from Trophy Skin in exchange for a review. I think I talked about this when I got it. Initially, this is their Rejuvalite MD. This is Red Light Therapy. Oh my gosh. Can I tell you right now that I've seen any kind of a difference? No. Do I believe this is helping? Yes. I have read reviews. I've talked to people who believe in red light therapy and a lot of people swear over time this makes a big difference. Now, I don't feel that I've been using it long enough. I lost a whole week when I was in Nashville because it's too big. But I have this set up in my living room. I'll insert a picture. I, you've seen this before. I do five minutes. Every single morning, I do five minutes. And then I try to do five minutes some nights. I don't always succeed, but I try to do the five minutes some nights. When that is over, I will go into the kitchen because I keep my, and most of the time, and I just bought about two months ago when they had their 50% off sale, I just bought another two refill sizes. But I, you know, and, and vitamin C, if I was going on an island somewhere and I could only bring a few products, vitamin C would be one of the ones that I would grab to bring with me, without a doubt. So I happen to really like my timeless vitamin C, but like everything else, every now and then I switch it up and I give it a break. I have tried Mad Hippie. I have tried, and I still have some, the Pixie. I have tried these vitamin Cs. Both of these vitamin C's are, this is extremely expensive, this is extremely affordable, this is mid-range. Although when I buy it with the 50% off, this is super affordable. But both of these vitamin C's, while really nice, don't work well for me under makeup. They don't. So I am trying to finish this. I won't be rebuying. I won't be rebuying. This I purchased. I think it was a Sephora sale. I can't remember, but I purchased this. I have two bottles of it, this one and another one. And this was sent to me in PR. Both of these would not be anything I would buy. This, yes. So I normally will go in the kitchen after I've done my red light therapy, and then I take a good dropper full of the vitamin C, and I pot it all around my face. Sometimes depending on what's going on i have a jade roller you can also use the pink quartz roller whatever type of roller you want sometimes i roll that into my skin using it that way more often than not i use my jade roller under my eyes so i put my vitamin c on and i'm very generous very generous i use a good amount of it i tap it all around and go down into my neck and you know, top of, bottom of my hands, top of my hands, whatever these are. I call them the top of my hands, but I think they're the bottom of your hands. Uh, and I just pat it all in. And then I normally, you know, maybe I'll go have a cup of coffee, pour another cup of coffee. But very shortly thereafter, I always will add my Matrixel 3000. This is again from Timeless. This is the refill. I've been using these two products in conjunction with a few other Timeless products, I think since 2016. So I've been using these a while, long enough to know I love them both. And I always, always go back to my Timeless Vitamin C. I've tried, like I said, others, and none of them really compare. So I'll take the Matrixel, I do the same thing, a generous dropper full, pat it in my hands, and go all over my face. After that settles in, and that can be five minutes, you know, or less. Sometimes I go into the bathroom, sometimes I'll come in the bedroom and I'll think, okay, what do I want to do for my makeup today? I might arrange things in the bathroom. But after that settles in, I then apply, and this is where you guys can do whatever, whatever moisturizer, whatever system, whatever you really want to do. But currently what I've been using and I have been using for quite a while is I've been using a CBD face oil. Now I've used a few different brands of CBD face oil. 
And I've also used CBD creams, like from Realm. They've sent me the recovery stick. They sent me uh, a bunch of, of their products, complimentary, that I've been using. And I've talked about them in a video. I absolutely love, love the recovery stick. I use that on my knee. I, I use it where I have other aches. And then I have the Adori cream, which I've actually used the Adori cream on my skin. And I think I mentioned once that I had like a bug bite. It got rid of the bug bite. I think the Midori cream is really super nice to use on your skin. So I use that on my skin, but now I'm going back to my morning routine because that's special. I don't use that every day. I don't have bug bites. I don't have poison ivy every day, stuff like that. And that's really where I've noticed the biggest difference. So I'm currently using the Maku. The Maku was initially sent to me in exchange complimentary for a review. I have been using it since I got it. The first bottle was much higher concentration, 5,000 milligrams. Many of you have heard me talk about that. This is the 2,500. I love, love, love this. What I do is I put it in a smaller bottle and I travel with it, but I love it. Now, the price point of this in comparison to when I bought the Florin Bass, the Florin Bass was, I don't know, I think it was on sale $77, something like that. This is a hundred and something, but I end up cutting the dosage down a lot because this is significantly higher concentrate of CBD. So I might mix this, my normal morning routine, after I've done my Mutrixels, it's settled in. I'll take my, my face, my CBD oil, and you can do whatever moisturizer you want. I put it in. I usually maybe do a drop of a squirreline or something like that and I just pat it on and I pay particular attention to my trouble areas. Unfortunately, there's a lot of them, <laughs> a lot of them. Pay particular attention to my trouble areas. And then I, I let that settle in. And then at one point I go in the bathroom and I normally do the 100% pure. This is the caffeine solution that I put under my eyes. I let that sink in. I, I first heard about, I can't remember how long I've been using this. I first heard about this from Marlene Fab and Glam and I bought it and I like it a lot. So 100% pure caffeine, a bean caffeine eye cream for your bag, stuff like that. I really like that. I've been using this for a long time in conjunction with, and you're all going to ask me, do you still use the Olay eyes? I do every single day. I take a tiny bit, uh, this is the European version, by the way. I take a tiny bit and I just dab it on the corners and then I just, where my laugh lines are and my eye wrinkles and I let it soak in. Now I have been trying, this was sent to me for review from Dr. Lily Fan. This is a probiotic age defying eye serum, firming, lifting, revitalizing. The ingredients in this are the nuts. They're really good. They're really good. I use this, again, I've put all the rest of this on. I use this on my lids. And I just let that go all the way up to my brow bone. I go around here. I really like this a lot. She sent me a number of other products in PR, a face cream. All of them are probiotic. Some of them I don't like as much, but this I really like. And I also like their, she has a, a cream, an eye cream that goes along with it. I'm not really good about the eye repair cream. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't, but I do like this eye serum and I put this right on up here. And again, these were sent to me complimentary, but at this point in time, I really like this enough that I would rebuy this. I don't, wouldn't run to buy this. I wouldn't run to buy the, the face cream, but I do like this a lot. So a lot of people you at will be asking, do you still use the Nivea? So some days I do. Some days I don't. Some days I use this, some days I don't. Most of the time when I do the Nivea, I just do a little tiny dab on the inside of my eyelid where I have these two fat pockets. That's how I use it. I let it sink in. It's not an eye cream, it's not a moisturizer. I don't find that it gives me any huge lift. Um, I just feel sometimes it sucks in that baggy, baggy fat pocket and makes my eyes look a little bit better. But this is almost extremely hard to find. It is extremely hard to find. They're not making this anymore, so I'm weaning myself off this. When this is done, I, I'm not going to go on a hunt to look for it as much as I like it. So I've been like not using it every day. I've been trying to see <laughs> what's going to happen to my eyes if I stop using it. But that 
you know, that's still something I use on an occasion, but my everyday thing is going to be my 100% pure caffeine, my Olay eyes, and my favorite, favorite eye cream has been for about three years now is the Nourishing, and this is from Timeless Skincare. This is their Nourishing with Hyaluronic Acid and Matrixyl 3000, and this is their eye cream. I really like this. If you don't like hyaluronic acid, if it dries you out, this might not be something that you like, but I really, really do like this a lot. I also have tried, and I got a little sample of this, is the IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. Brightens, repairs, and transforms. I like it. I like it a lot. Does it brighten? Does it, have I noticed, ooh, spinning. Have I noticed any kind of huge difference on my eyes using it? No, not really. But I'm using it. It was a sample. I will continue to use it, but it's, I don't really know for sure if I would buy it. I don't think so. I think using this, my Timeless, is just as powerful as this to me, in my opinion. So my three must-tos, if I was on a de desert island, this is what I'd grab for my eyes. This I really like a lot. Then once I have all that on, I then usually use whatever sunblock I'm going to use. More often than not, it has been the Australian Gold 50 SPF, the mineral um, by tonic I'm looking up there because it is tinted, it's mineral. And normally I will put at one point just on my face and I will let it sink in. I don't, I don't put my makeup on, my foundation on right away. I let that sink in and then I go back to putting on and applying my foundation um, at one point after it's really dried. So that's my skincare in the morning routine. My evening routine is a little bit more complex because I use a lot more products and I have some skincare tools that I really like. My Trophy Skin, the Rejuvalite, that one I do try for twice a day. But my Microderm Abrasion, I'm at like once a month on that. And I use my Trophy Skin Spatula a couple of times a week. I really like that. So Retin-A and all that stuff. Yeah, um, I, I still use my Retin-A. I'll have my links below if anyone wants to. I buy my Retin-A overseas at Reliable RX. And I get the 1%. And I'll tell you, last time I looked, it's like about a week ago, what I use, the 1%, the good tube, good size tube, was on sale for six dollars us yes you have to pay shipping and then sometimes you have free shipping if you spend forty dollars or fifty dollars depending on whatever the sale is but even with the shipping costs factored in that is still a huge huge savings for me to buy my retin-a here in in new hampshire my insurance won't cover it and i'm talking if unless it's on sale i'm talking anywhere for a small tube for eighty dollars to three hundred dollars and usually the eighty dollars is a one-time special you know they give then you get sock the next time you fill it so I have been very very happy reliable RX does have a whole lot of different other prescription or non prescription items but I find their service has been wonderful I can't remember who first talked about it I, I want to say it was it might have even been Miss Kristen three, two, one years ago, but anyways, I um, I've been using their service for quite a while, and I've been extremely happy. I've never ever ever had an issue. They now accept, I think, PayPal. I think there's a few other forms of payment. Before, I used to always send an e-check. I never had a problem. I t I've often told people that I opened up a separate separate uh, separate checking account just for my overseas purchases like that. And you know, I've never had a problem. So anyways, um, by the time you see this video, uh, Thanksgiving will be over. So I am sure hoping you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I will catch you in my next video. And yes, I will update the evening skincare because I know you all want that too. So thanks so much for watching guys. Be sure to thumbs up the video, leave me a comment. I truly appreciate all your support. Bye guys.